Hello, I'm Boyd Sossaman. Um, I'm on the uh, mission team where we pick up donated food and deliver it to various organizations here in Jackson County. And I'm Linda Sossaman. Um, Boyd and I work as a team and go um, on Fridays and pick up donated food from Walmart. This is part of a program that was started um, with Mary Brown and with Mana Food Banks. And so we pick up um, food and we weigh it and we put it in our truck and we deliver it. Now, that is not how we first started doing it. We've sort of learned along the way. We would pick up the food, we would bring it back here to the church and weigh it, and then we would call the different organizations for them to come and pick it up. Well, we really decided that wasn't working well because those people are busy handing out food or making meals. So what we've started doing is picking up the food, weighing it, and then delivering it to the places that need it. We first go to United Christian Ministries, our community table, see what they need, and um, give most of it to them. But then with the other stuff, we either give to um, a church in Cherokee, a church on the way to um, Cullowhee or different places. We even take some things and put them in the little pantry by Lifeway Church. It, it's always empty other times we come by, so that's really a need at that um, spot too. But it's, it's been great that we've been able to take food that uh, was just being thrown away in the past and uh, get it to these organizations in the community that uh, distribute it to people who need it so much. Uh, when we pick up the food, we never know each week what we're going to get, but uh, we may get six, eight boxes, and we've had 30 or more boxes uh, sometimes. So uh, we also got an entire pallet of bananas one time as well. So over a thousand pounds of food in, in one week. We never end up with any leftover that we have to throw away. Even the day that we got over a thousand pounds of food, which included the pallet of bananas, we were able to distribute those to six different places. Uh, those, um, if they're interested specifically in the, the food do donation, delivery and pickup, um, uh, contact the church office and uh, will get, get you involved. Um, there's uh, several people helping right now, but it's always great to have extra help so that it can be spread out and we have backups in case someone has to be out of town. Um, that, that would be great to have uh, people that can step in and do that. One thing we could use uh, some additional help on is uh, just to take uh, uh, some of the, the procedures and methods that we've worked out over the year and, and organize it a little more formally in a, a manual uh, procedure list, something like that, to, uh, to help any new volunteers we may, uh, may get and uh, just to make it a little more organized. Uh. This process has reminded me of something that I read in the upper room just last week. And it says, even one generous act can inspire change in our world. And I think that's what we've done. Our church has generously given of our time and we wanted to. It makes us see um, how lucky we are and to give um, our time to do something like this. Our church is changing the world, even if it is just this one small spot in North Carolina.